Hey guys, welcome to my channel BitGlen. My name's Glenn and I'm trying to vlog my cryptocurrency journey so I can share it with you guys. If you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button if you want to follow my journey going forward. And it also, before you leave this video today, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps spread the word. So what are we going to discuss today? Today I wanted to talk about the prices that Bitmain have uh, reduced overnight last night on their website for some of the new machines. So last night I touched on it that the Z9 Mini had been reduced slightly. But I've checked the website this morning and actually the big Z9 has also been reduced. It's now down to $3,091. The Z9 Mini is down to $793. So this got me thinking, is it profitable to buy one of these machines as of September the 5th, right now, today? Obviously this could change. If you're watching this video in weeks to come, months to come, the figures are gonna be completely different. Hopefully for the better, but probably more likely for the worse. So bear that in mind, do your own research. This is not financial advice and I'm basing these figures as of what's happening right now. So if you're watching this video past the 4th of September, please, please do your own research, do your own checks. So let's go on to the Antminer Z9. It's currently $793. I paid $850 for mine, so it has been reduced by about $57, if my maths is right. So not much of a saving, but is it profitable as of today? So let's have a little look. Now, the Antminer Z9 Mini advertises 10,800 souls. Now I've put that into this calculator, I use what to mine, and again, this isn't exact science, it's just a reference. But I've put the uh, souls in per second, and I've also put a power wattage of 300. Now the actual cost I put as 14 cent, I'm actually based in the UK, so I pay 11 pence per kilowatt hour. In American money, that is 14 cent. So that's why I've put that in. If you get a better rate than that, then obviously these figures are gonna be more favorable to you. If you pay more than 14 cent per kilowatt hour, then obviously it's gonna be less profitable for you. So let's have a little look. So as of today, they're saying the best coin on here to mine is Zcash. Now Zcash, it's saying if you was to mine that, you would be mining it at $8.38. So if we get our calculator, Let's do $8.38 and we're going to times that by, let's say 30 days. That's a normal month, 30 days I'd say. You're looking at $251 for the total cost of a month. That's after electricity costs. So bear that in mind. So that's our actual profitability. Now you'll see a lot of YouTubers or a lot of people talk about how much this thing mines as opposed to what you paid for the hardware. So if we was to, let's just round that down and say 250, just to make it nice and easy in our heads. The machine I've paid for was to 850. We're gonna divide that by 250. It's actually gonna take you 3.4 months to pay that machine back. So today is the 4th of September. You're looking at 4th October, November, December. So by 4th of December, as of the figures today, this machine should pay for itself. Now, some people may look at that and think, oh my God, that's rubbish. I remember the Z9 Mini paying itself back within 30 days. But then there's other people that maybe say in the GPU mining game who might think a return on investment of three months. My God, that's awesome. Because a lot of these GPUs currently are not seeing a return on investment for 12 months, 18 months, two years, some of them. So actually this does look like a good investment if you're on one side of the fence and a bad one if you was in uh, the other camp. So just bear that in mind, you're looking at a three and a half month return on investment. Now the reason why I keep stressing that that's as of today is the fact that the more souls that get put into the system, the less rewards have to be shared out evenly. So there isn't any more blocks that are being mined. The same amount of blocks come out every day, every week, every month. And the amount of people trying to get a little piece of that block is increasing quite rapidly. So you, 
the amount of profit you're all going to earn is going to be slightly less. We've got some big boys coming out with big machines. So you've got the Z9 Minis, then you have the Z9 big versions, which are four times as powerful as a, a Z9 Mini. Then you have the ASICminer.co uh, 180,000 soul machine. We also have in silicon, they're doing a machine which produces 50,000 souls and they're all due to come out and start being delivered to people's homes mid-September. So the figures that I am quoting you today may be completely different this time next week, but I can only base it off what's happening right now. Because in two weeks time, the price of Zcash may shoot up and it may be more profitable than what I'm quoting you today. I just don't know. So just make sure you do your own research before you get involved. Now, something that I did want to share with you guys is that obviously now that I've actually ordered a couple of machines myself, this is something that I thought should be brought to people's attention because it's easy to look at just the cost of the machine but you have to include everything. What comes out of BitGlen's bank account to get this machine plugged in and mining away? So the, we saw that earlier that the price of the machine currently is $793 plus we have to add on $105 for the power supply unit. You can try and source your own power supply unit. I'm gonna go ahead with Bitmain's one because I know it's gonna work out of the box and there's not gonna be any setup needed. But now we've got a total cost of $898. Then you've got an add-on delivery, which I believe if you was to buy that combination would set you back about $100 to $120. It all depends on where you live. So I'm just gonna base it on $120. So now we're looking at $1,000. As well as that, depending on where you live, you may get stung with import tax or customs import tax, like I have. Now, what Bitmain have started to do recently, which as far as I'm aware, they wasn't doing before, they've started to declare, as you can see on this commercial invoice that came with my uh, power supply unit yesterday, they're actually declaring the exact cost of the power supply unit and they're not including the discount a discount code because I actually used a voucher. So I actually got about $100 off my order, but they, they don't seem to be including that in this. They're just going by what the value of the machine is. Plus they're including the actual cost of the delivery. So you can see here for two power supply units, they're actually saying that they are worth 287 uh, dollars. Now obviously when the customs see that they tax you based on that figure. So bear that in mind. Now to give you an idea I've just paid for two Z9 minis and two power supply units 290 British pounds which in dollars is 371. So let's half that because obviously if you're just looking at buying one Z9 with one power supply unit you're probably going to pay half of that depending on where you live and what your customs tax is so half of that i'm going to say 185 so 185 dollars plus 185 now we're looking at 1203 dollars that is what it would cost you to get that machine to your front door now, obviously, if we do our same calculation, we round it up to about 250 profitability within the space of a month. So let's divide that by $250. Now you're looking at 4.8 months. Let's round that up and say five months. Five months for this machine to become profitable. That's if everything stays as it is today. If the profitability goes down, that is gonna take longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and predict that this machine now, unless something really sort of spikes up in the price of these coins, it's going to take me probably six, maybe even seven months for a return on investment. So that is why it's so important that you add up all the costs, not just the cost of the machine. You can see all of a sudden that me saying, oh yeah, this is a return on investment in 3.4 months as opposed to 4.8. So just bear that in mind. 
But that's all I really wanted to uh, bring to your guys' attention. Uh, the other machine, obviously, is the Z9, the big Z9. Now, apparently, Bitmain are restricting uh, how much you can overclock these machines. So let's just base this on what they advertise. I believe they advertise it at 40,800 souls. And the uh, watts at the wall, I believe, is 1250. If my memory serves me right, it might be 1150 actually, but let's do 1200 just to be on the safe side. Um, again, 11 cent per kilowatt hour. Let's see what the profitability is on that. We're looking at Zcash $31 a day, so obviously uh, we're gonna have to use a calculator. I can't work that out in my head. 30, 31.48. Times, and we'll do 30 days again a normal month that's running at a profitability of $944 the machine as of right now is $3,091 again looking at that you would say ah you know three months return on investment but remember guys we have got to do 3091 plus 105 plus obviously whatever the customs tax is now based on obviously the figures that i've come up with i believe it's around 18 to 20 percent so let's times that by 0.2 that's 20 percent 639 us dollars so let's just round up and say 640 so now we're looking at 3091 plus 105 plus 6 40. Now we're looking at a total cost of $3,836. So obviously based on dividing that by was it 940 a month profitability, uh, we're looking at four months return on investment. So again, I'm going to assume that is going to probably take five and a half, six months for a return on investment, unless the difficulty really, really spikes up, could be a lot longer. But if the prices of the coins go up, obviously it could be a lot shorter. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Have you got any of these Antminer Z9s? Have you got the Z9 Mini? What sort of profitability are you running at? Do you think this is a good investment or a bad investment? I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. So many of you come up with so many ideas that I think, God, I wish I thought of that. So I love hearing all your feedback, even if it's negative. So please comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this content. And like I say, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to contact me outside of YouTube, because the YouTube comments are a bit iffy, <laughs> you can use the Telegram group chat, which is <laughs> there is a link down below. Feel free to join it. There's no shilling, no scams, um, no advertising. It's just a group of guys all talking crypto. And I'll see you there. And you can also message me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all with the name Bitblend. So I look forward to speaking to you there, guys. And I'll see you later for my Z9 mini unboxing video. Bye.